Audio Playback Module Voice recorder is a device that captures speech or audio in various situations like meetings, lectures, interviews, conferences, broadcasts, etc., so that you can easily edit or play them back. There are different types of hardware and software dedicated to voice recording that provide several customization options. In this project, we will see how to make a voice recorder module using IST1820 voice recorder IC and how to control it with the help of tact switches. A major feature of the IST1820 voice recorder IC is that it can store the messages in its non-volatile memory and can be configured to store messages of length between 8 seconds to 20 seconds. These are the components, which are needed in this project. ISD1820 IC, 14 pin IC base, 2, 4.7 kilo ohm resistors, 2, 1 kilo ohm resistors, 100 kilo ohm resistor, 2, 10 microfarad, electrolytic capacitors, 220 microfarad, electrolytic capacitor, 2.2 microfarad, electrolytic capacitor, 1 nanofarad, Ceramic capacitor 3 100 nanofarad ceramic capacitors 1 red LED 3 watt speaker 1 mic 7805 voltage regulator on off rocker switch 3 tact switches 9 volt battery PP3 battery connector 1 zero PCB 4 screw with nuts and 4 plastic spacers before making the project we will understand its circuit diagram this is a 9 volt battery to power up the circuit. This is an on off switch which is used to start or stop the project. This is a power supply indication LED. This is a current limiting resistor to protect the LED from high current and voltage. 7805 voltage regulator is used to convert 9 volt DC into fixed 5 volt DC. While we use the circuit, the battery starts discharging and battery voltage starts decreasing, but 7805 maintains fixed 5 volt DC at its output unless the battery voltage goes below 7 volt. Two capacitors of 10 microfarad each are used at the input and output of 7805 to avoid any fluctuation in the power supply. This is IST1820 voice recorder IC. It can store an audio up to the length of 20 seconds. This IC has 14 pins. Pin number 14 is ground. Pin number 1, 2, and 3 are connected with the tact switches. When we press the first switch, then the IC starts recording the audio. When IC gets a pulse from the second switch, then it plays the full audio. Third switch is used to produce the sound. As long as the switch is pressed, this is the mic. It is used to take the audio input. This is the speaker. It is used to produce the recorded audio. These components will be used to make the circuit. First of all, we will make a PCB base. And for that, we will take a zero PCB and make a hole at each of its corner. Now, we will insert a one inch screw inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer. Now our PCB base is ready. To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the PCB. 
Use a permanent marker to make the outline on the PCB. Use the tweezer to make the hole in the PCB. Use the cutter to cut the plastic. Now insert the switch inside the hole. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor. This resistor will protect the LED from high voltage and current. Now we will solder the power indication LED on the PCB. Now we will solder the 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Small pin of the capacitor is negative and long pin is positive. Now we will solder 7805 voltage regulator. It has three pins. First one is input pin, second one is ground pin and third pin is output pin. Now we will solder the 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Now we will solder the 14 pin IC base on the PCB. Now we will solder the 100 nanofarad ceramic capacitor. This is a non-polarized capacitor, so we can mount it from either side. Now we will solder the 100 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the tact switch on the PCB. Tact switch has 4 pins, 2 upper pins are shorted with each other from inside, 2 lower pins are also shorted with each other. In the bottom side of the tact switch, there is a line which separates the upper and lower pins. Connect one side of each tact switch with the 5 volt power supply. Connect pin number 11 of IC base with the 5 volt power supply. Now we will solder the 100 nanofarad ceramic capacitor. Now solder 2.2 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Connect the positive side of capacitor with pin number 6 of IC base and connect the negative side with the ground. Now we will solder the 4.7 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor.
now sold a 220 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Now we will solder the 4.7 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder, one nanofarad ceramic capacitor, between pin number 1 and 14 of IC base. Now connect pin number 1 of IC base, with first tact switch. Connect pin number 2 of IC base, with second tact switch. Connect pin number 3 of IC base, with third tact switch. Short pin number 14 of IC base, with pin number 8. Now connect pin number 8 with ground. Now we will solder the speaker, between pin number 7 and 9 of IC base. Now we will solder the mic. Now plug the IC, on the IC base. Now we will solder the PP3 battery connector. Connect the red wire with the positive terminal, and black wire with the negative terminal in the circuit. Now give the power supply to the circuit, and check its functioning. Press the first tact switch to record the audio. Now press the second or third switch to listen the recorded sound. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video, and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts, regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number. 7007957715 to buy the items used in this project you can visit our website www.eraltech.com you can give us the orders on whatsapp also thank you so much